Question 22 from Section 1 of the 2019 Higher Physics Examination. A student sets up a circuit and measures the voltage across and the current in a resistor. The measurements and their uncertainties are given below. Voltage equals 10.0 plus or minus 0.1 volts. The current equals 0.50 plus or minus 0.01 amps. The approximate absolute uncertainty in a calculated value of the resistance of the resistor is, and we're given five choices. Now, what we have to do, first of all, is work out what the percentage uncertainty is in each of the measurements. And the percentage uncertainty is the absolute uncertainty divided by the measurement times 100. So let's take a look at the voltage data, first of all. So here is the voltage data shown here. Now, what the measurement is, is 10 volts. So we can label that 10 volts for the measurement. The absolute uncertainty is the plus or minus 0 0.1 volt part. So right away we can measure the percentage uncertainty in the, re in the voltage part of the calculations. So percentage uncertainty in the voltage, and I'll just write percentage V for the voltage, and that's going to equal to the absolute uncertainty, which is 0 0.1, divided by the measurement, which is going to be 10.0, and I have to multiply that by 100 to get the percentage. So work that one out, I get 1%. So the percentage uncertainty in the voltage is 1%. Now I can do the same calculation for the current. So here's the current here. I'll move the current this, this position here. And the measurement for the current is 0 0.05. And the absolute uncertainty is 0 0.01. So I can write down the percentage uncertainty in the current is equal to the absolute uncertainty, which is 0 0.01, divided by the measurement, which is 0 0.50. And I have to multiply that by 100 to get me my 2%. So now I've worked out that the percentage uncertainty in the current is 2%, which is double the percentage uncertainty in the voltage. So I'm going to use for the percentage uncertainty for the whole experiment, the one which is linked to the current. So what is the value of the resistance anyway from the data? Well, I can use my formula for resistance. Resistance equals the voltage divided by the current. And that's going to equal... 10 volts, 10.0, divided by 0 0.50, and that's going to give me 20 ohms. So the value is going to be 20 ohms of the resistor. So I could write down the following. I could write down the value of the resistance from that measurement is 20 ohms, plus or minus, and I'm going to take the biggest percentage uncertainty, which is 2%. But I'm not asked the percentage uncertainty I'm asked the absolute uncertainty or the approximate one so we're going to use 2% so I've got to find 2% of 20 ohms so down here then I'll just work out 2% of 20 ohms and that's the same as saying 2 over 100 multiplied by 20 and that's going to give us a value of 0 0.4 so what I can say then is that this resistor, if we calculate it, has a value of 20 ohms and the absolute uncertainty, which we've calculated approximately by using the 2% value, is 20 ohms plus or minus 0 0.4 ohms. So that answer will be C. Question 23 from Section 1 of the 2019 Higher Physics Examination. A circuit is shown, set up as shown below. The power supply has negligible internal resistance and the power dissipated in the 3 ohm resistor is, I'm given 5 choices. So I'm going to find out what the power lost in that 3 ohm resistor is. I go to my data sheet with all the relationships on it and I can see that I've got 3 equations with power in it. 
power equals iv, power equals i squared r, and power equals v squared upon r. Now, which one am I going to use? Well, if you look closely at the 3 ohm resistor, it's connected across a 6 volt supply. So you have got the voltage and you have got the resistance. So I'm going to use P equals V squared divided by R. I'll write that down. The equation I'm going to use is P is going to equal to V squared divided by R. Because I have a voltage across the resistor and have the value of the resistor. So V squared is going to be 6.0 all squared, divided by the value of the resistor, which is 3. That's going to give me a value of 6. 6 is a 36, divided by 3. That's going to give me a value of 12. And power is measured in watts, so it's 12 watts. So my answer is going to be D.